What's up guys, Zeke here. So, I uh, just waited a few minutes ago. This is the end of the first week for my weight loss blog. And I uh, just weighed in and I am at down to a total of 329.4 pounds, which puts me at a total weight loss for the week of 3.2 pounds, which I've got to say I'm pretty excited about. I, I was hoping to put up around, you know, two and a half to three pounds, uh, keep it in that area. You know, I wasn't really expecting the 3.2 pounds and I, you know, I kind of had a few mess ups this week. So, you know, seeing that, you know, really kind of made me happy. Um, I'm also, you know, overall that actually puts me at, I, when I started my fitness pal, first using it was back in, you know, I'm not even, honestly not even sure. Uh, let's see. I think it's, yeah, back in April is what it has me here. Uh, when I started back in April, I was 350.8. And so this actually drops me under uh, 330. And that's over 20 pounds of weight loss, which is a pretty big deal for me because, like I said in my introduction video, I've been on so many diets. I've always, you know, I always try and, you know, start losing weight and getting healthy, and it just so far hasn't worked out for me. And I can't say that I've ever lost 20 pounds. I, I'm trying to remember if I have, but I don't. I don't think I've ever lost anything more than maybe 10, 12 pounds when I do a diet, and usually that comes back right away. So having lost, you know, more than 21, or more, yeah, more than 21 pounds, you know, I got to say it's kind of a big deal. I'm pretty excited about it. It definitely, you know, pumps up my motivation. Um, I had a pretty good week for the most part. I, I ate right. I did have a couple of mess ups. The weekends are the hardest when I'm hanging out with family and they just have all kinds of food laying around and they want to go out to eat. Uh, uh, Saturday night I actually had an out burger, which I'm not proud of, but... And it did actually put me over my calorie limit. I tried to stick to just a cheeseburger. But you know how it is. I kind of learned this week that, you know, although you do want to have, you do want to allow yourself some wiggle room and, you know, have some of the food that you like. You don't want to go too overboard. And what I'm learning is that, you know, eating just a little bit of that, that sweet, sugary, salty food that, you know, tastes great. But overall, you know, is not good for you. But eating that, just a little bit of it, kind of giving yourself a taste of it. You think it's gonna, you know, take away your cravings and you you'll be good for a while, but it really doesn't for me. For me, when I ate it, it just kind of puts those cravings into overdrive, and I just want to keep eating more and more. And like, so I, I kind of limited myself, but I started off with just a cheeseburger, which would have kept me under my calorie limit because that's where I wanted to go eat, and normally I wouldn't have even eaten it. But so I calculated it. I, you know, I saw that a cheeseburger would keep me below my calorie limit. Uh, ordered just that, but then I did end up eating some fries. Uh, like half tray fries and having some soda which kind of bummed me out because I'm trying to stay off soda and you know I want to go for a significant period of time without drinking soda which is not really a big deal but it, you know it's kind of one of those things when you say well I've been a month without soda it's just kind of one of those uh, like goals or you know achievements I'm kind of going for but you know overall I mean it only put me I think 22 to 300 or 22 to 2300 calories which you know I kind of put up as a fail because I'm over my calorie limit of 1800 but when I think about it, you know, what I was eating before, 3,500 to 4,000 calories a day, 2,300 calories is a pretty big win. So, you know, you kind of just kind of suck it up and move on and, you know, keep doing great the rest of the week, which I, I think I did. I had a couple of things where, a couple of days where I over ate a little bit, but it was on semi-healthy, low-fat food, so it wasn't too bad. Overall, I stayed within my calorie limit. And, uh, and yeah, I kind of feeling pretty good about this week. I don't really have a whole lot to tell you guys. It, it was a pretty boring week for me just waking up and I, you know, I did start increasing my, my protein content a little bit. I started drinking protein shakes for breakfast, which I went over in my uh, my fitness pal video where I showed you guys all that. Uh, that definitely helps keep me full to high protein. I'm, right now, I think my fitness pal sort of puts me at, I want to say it's 15% protein. It wants me to eat about, yeah, 15% protein 30% fat and 55% carbs, but what I'm kind of going for is more like 30% protein, 20% fat, and 50% carbs, which is actually about what I'm at right now, so far today. So that'll probably go down a little bit, but you know, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be putting up a couple other videos this week, maybe... I think, yeah, I'm going to do one about, you know, the vitamins and supplements I take on a regular basis. Uh, hopefully here, I think on Friday, I'm going to be getting uh, one of the, the supplements I want to 
start taking for weight loss that's actually designed specifically for weight loss. And, you know, we'll see if that works. I'll use it for a while, maybe give you guys a review and uh, let you know how it goes. But, you know, look for those videos. I have a couple other ideas. And uh, if, you know, nothing else, I'll see you guys next week, uh, hopefully with another, you know, decent decent drop in weight there. I don't know if I'll put up three, three pounds every week. You know, obviously pretty soon I am probably going to start plateauing, at which point I do want to increase my cardio. I've already uh, been talking to some friends that are, have similar weight loss goals that want to start walking. Um, you know, got to walk before you can run, that's for sure. Uh, running wouldn't really work out with my, you know, knee so far. Being a big guy, it's pretty hard to run. But, uh, yeah, so start, I'm going to start walking, hopefully, you know, maybe a few miles, at least two or three times a week to start out with, hopefully a little bit more. Honestly, I'm pretty excited to start it, but I, I'm actually, for the first time in my life, I'm having tr other trouble getting other people to, to do it with me. Um, kind of, kind of get after some people to see if they'll go walking with me and uh, start working out. And then once it starts getting cooler and I've dropped a little more weight, and hopefully in a couple of months, I actually want to start playing basketball again, which I haven't played in a long time. I used to play, I played basketball for my high school basketball team, and uh, I used to be pretty decent back in the day until I graduated high school and started putting on all this weight. So, you know, I definitely want to start playing basketball and more sports that I used to enjoy that I, you know, can't really enjoy as much right now. Hopefully, once I drop a little more weight and uh, get things going, you know, I can add those back in slowly and use those to, you know, boost the weight loss even more as well as you know have fun like I used to. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I should mention, but I don't think so. So yeah, you know, have a good week. Be safe and good luck on your own weight loss. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.